G'day everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be upgrading the intake pipe on my 2014 Ford Ranger. And when I say intake pipe, this is the pipe that sits just before the turbo. And as you can see here, this is the standard one. It sort of tapers down to about one and a half inches right there. And this is the aftermarket one that I'm going to be fitting. As you can see, it's quite a lot bigger in diameter. I'm not too sure what that is. I think that's about a 2.25 where the factory one is around uh, 1.5. So this is a product by HD Auto, and I paid about $180 delivered. So now I'm just gonna make, take a quick measurement of what the actual diameters are of the internal of the factory one as compared to the HD Auto one. So let's have a quick look here. We've got about 1.75 inches on the factory one, and the HD Auto one is 2.25 so it's about half an inch bigger so essentially what I'll be doing is I'll be going for a run with the factory pipe fitted and just having a look at the boost curve of the actual turbo to see what it's doing fit the new pipe go for another run and see if it's made any difference to the boost curve of the turbo and also seeing if there's any difference in performance or responsiveness of the vehicle with the new pipe fitted one thing that this part didn't come with is a gasket, so I'm gonna to have to make my own. So I'm just using a bit of oil filter cardboard. I'm just gonna trace around that and make my own gasket, essentially. But before I do that, I'm gonna go for a test run with the factory pipe fitted, get some data, and then fit the new one. So up on the screen, you have the uh, boost sensor. And essentially what that's gonna show us is the boost curve, although it is a little bit boxy at the moment, for some reason I don't know why. Must have been the uh, update that I did on Topped On and it's come up very boxy, so we'll just work with it. So essentially what I'm gonna be doing here is doing a second gear wide open throttle from 40 kilometers per hour going into third. And we'll just see how the uh, boost curve essentially responds to that in standard format before I fit any of the intake stuff. Alrighty, so I've got my dodgy little gasket made up. Next thing you do is fit this, take it out for a test drive, and see how it performs. So as you can see, pipe is now in. Time to bolt everything else up and take it for a drive. Back again at my test track. About to give the new intake a test run, so as you can see on the screen, got my boost gauge set up. Going to be checking out the boost curve, see if there's any difference with the intake pipe installed compared to what there was previously. So once again, 40 kilometers per hour, second gear, wide open throttle. So overall, after I fitted the pipe, I could tell the car was a little bit more responsive coming on and off the throttle at about 100 kilometers per hour. You can just tell it sort of had a little bit more pickup. And going off the graphs that you see in front of you, obviously the left being the standard pipe and the right being the aftermarket one, we can see that peak boost in second gear with the aftermarket pipe was actually higher than what it was with the standard pipe. And then you can see where I shifted in the second, there's that little bit of a dip. 
the dip with the aftermarket pipe is not actually as big as what it was with the standard pipe, meaning the turbo actually held boost a little bit better in between the gears than what it did with the standard pipe. And then in third gear in that final pull, it looked like it held boost better with the aftermarket pipe than what it did with the standard pipe.